Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So the game The Sims 4 is now finally a free to play game. So it's completely free to claim and it works great on the macOS operating system. So today I'm going to show you a very simple way of getting The Sims 4 working on your M1 or M2 Apple Silicon Mac. This is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial. We're not able to play this game through Steam, so instead we're going to be using Origin. So I'm going to show you the very simple method of installing this game and get it running on Apple Silicon hardware. And this will also work on Intel Macs as well. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So the first thing I'm going to do is download Origin for macOS. Now you might think that you could use Steam to do this, however, the Steam version of Sims 4 does not contain the Mac port, so therefore we need to use the Origin version. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to ea.com forward slash origin dash 4 dash Mac. I'm going to download the Origin client, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. First we're going to press download Origin, and then this is going to download the origin.dmg. Once the file is downloaded, we're going to go to Finder, and then we're going to go to our downloads folder, and we're going to find origin.dmg, which we're going to double click on. Once that's double clicked, we can go ahead and drag and drop this into our applications folder. Just lift this up with your mouse and then let go on applications. And then we're going to go to applications here and then I'm going to scroll down until we find origin. Then we just double click. Here it's asking, are we sure we want to open this as it's an app download from the internet? We're going to press open. Here it's going to ask us to accept the end user licensing agreement, press agree. So now it's saying a helper tool is needed to manage the installation of games. So we need to type in your login password and then press install helper. So now it's asking us whether we want to open this on login, ask Origin to keep my games up to date and share hardware specifications. I'm going to uncheck the top and bottom ones and then press OK. Now what we're going to do is to sign in with our EA account. So if you don't have an account already, then press press create an account. It's completely free to create this account and just enter your details and follow the next steps. Or you can sign into our existing EA account, which I'm going to do now. So now it's going ahead and logging in. Here it's asking us to enter our country details, press save. Here I'm going to press OK. We're going to agree to the cookies. Here's just warning us that Origin for Windows is basically deprecated and basically you need to use the EA app on Windows. However, on Mac, we're going to be continuing to use Origin for the near future. So now we're going to click on the store icon here and we're going to find Sims 4. So you can find one of the first entries here for Sims 4 or you can do a search for Sims 4 here and then you can find the game entry page on Origin. So because I've purchased this before, then this is already part of my library. However, you're going to be able to add this as a completely free game. So once it's been added to your account, just press the download button and then we're going to allow this to download into its default location. Press next. Here we're going to accept the end user licensing agreement again and press next. And now the download process has started. So once the download is complete, what we can do is go to game library and I'm going to scroll down until we find The Sims 4. Click on the game cover here and then we can press the play button here to launch the game. So now we're loaded into the game and it's all working great as normal. So what you can do is change some of the graphical settings. I've got it running in a window just to show you that it's running in Mac OS. You can go to game options and go to graphics and then change the display type to full screen. If you want to run this as a retina display, you can turn this on. However, I wouldn't recommend turning this on as this will enhance the look of the game, but it's going to make the computer run much slower and drain a lot more power. You should also consider turning on vertical sync because some people have experienced issues with the game crashing if the game produces too many frames. And the performance of this game is pretty good, especially considering that this is an Intel game running through the Rosetta 2 translation layer to make it work on the Apple Silicon ARM chip. So now I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.